What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, then welcome to my channel. My name is Jackson Desjardins. I'm an ACE certified personal trainer. I've personally lost 80 plus pounds, almost 100 pounds, and I'm here to help you guys do the exact same thing. So in this video, I'm gonna take you guys along for my 10,000 step walk that I do every Saturday morning, usually with my girlfriend, Chloe, but she's at work today, so I'm gonna be doing it by myself. Well, technically not by myself because you guys are going to be with me. And I'm going to talk to you guys about five things that I wish I knew before I lost almost 100 pounds because I think people think weight loss is this gargantuan, like terrifying task that you got to grind and it's like this most difficult thing ever. And there's really five things after I reflected on my weight loss transformation that I'm like, wow, if I would have just known that before I started, it would have made the whole process seamlessly easier and I wouldn't have spent four years trying to lose weight and only putting on 80 pounds, okay? So grab your cup of coffee. I've already had like three, four cups today. And let's talk about how you're gonna actually lose the weight this time and not just keep trying and failing because I do know how that feels trust me all right guys the first thing that I wish that I knew before I lost almost 100 pounds is going to be extreme exercise is not necessary to lose 100 pounds 200 pounds 50 pounds 25 pounds it's not totally necessary at all I think there's this misconception that you have to do this extreme cardio and weightlifting and all these crazy things and dive into an entire regimen when you're not used to doing any of it. And in reality, it's just totally not sustainable. I would not recommend that anybody dive into what I'm doing now if you're just starting off. Don't compare your chapter three or chapter one to my chapter 12. Okay, I've been doing this for a while. I had a lot of mishaps happen. I messed up a million times, four years. So I want you to know that one of the most common ways that people are losing weight nowadays, and especially on my channel, I've got dozens of, of subscribers who reach out to me all the time on Instagram or just in the comments section that are losing 50 to 100 to 100 plus pounds from walking, doing exactly what I'm, what I'm about to do right here because walking burns calories. I say this all the time. If your dog needed to lose weight, what would you do? You would feed it less and you'd walk it more, okay? I think people get into analysis paralysis so much because they see, oh, like I have to do hit cardio or the, because the, the afterburn effect and I have to go low carb and all this stuff. Look, let me just like, the process is simple, okay? You gotta eat less and you gotta move more. I don't care how you move. If you have a recumbent bike in your living room, then you wanna hop on that, that's great. If you wanna go for a long walk in a park like I'm about to do, that's great. If you wanna do sprint training, that's great. I really believe that all movement is equal when it comes to losing weight and just getting moving in general. You can lose weight in a fashion that you like to do and you can make it sustainable so you can build habits after you do it. And we're walking. I can't believe some of the birds here. I've like never seen, like, okay, hold on. Somebody tell me what kind of bird that is. Like, what is that? Is it a weird looking chicken duck? Or like, let me know in the comments. I have no idea what that is. All right, the second thing that I wish that I knew before I lost 100 pounds would no doubt be that diets do not work, okay? Like, throw away everything that you've seen online, throw away everything that you've seen on TV, all the Nutrisystem, all the BS. Diets don't work. L let me tell you why. Diets insinuate an endpoint. When you're done with the diet, what do you do? You usually revert back to the way you were eating before, which is what got you in trouble in the first place. So I don't believe in diets. I believe in habit change and building new eating habits. I went on diets for four years and what happened to me is I eventually would even lose some weight, but then I wouldn't learn anything and I would pile all the weight back on that I lost and then some, simply because I just didn't learn anything. So listen to me, you don't have to go keto, you don't have to go paleo, you don't have to do any of that other BS because as long as you were eating less than you are burning, you're gonna be losing weight. I just, stop overthinking it. Dieting has a vicious cycle of just making you feel like a failure because when you can't stick to a restrictive diet, you associate that with your willpower and thinking that you can't handle it and you're not strong enough. When in reality, that's just totally not true and you're setting yourself up for failure. If I could go back, I wish that I knew diet didn't work. Your habits are what is going to help you actually lose the weight and also keep it off. If you do not build different eating habits, once you lose the weight, if you do with a diet, you're just gonna put everything back on. So I need you to understand, diets don't work, okay? This tree right here is begging to be climbed. Oh my goodness. My gosh, it is cold out here. Whew. So the third thing that I wish that I knew before I lost 100 pounds and that would have helped me immensely goes right off of the dieting mindset. And that is that limiting beliefs are Satan. Yes, I'm a Christian guy, as many of you know, and I really do believe that limiting beliefs are an act of Satan in my mind. Because just like when you're dieting, when you fail a certain amount of times, you start to believe things about yourself. Just like when you keep promises you make to yourself, you start to build self-confidence because 
you build a good reputation with you, and then you know that if you say you're gonna do something, you're gonna do it, and then you like you. The opposite is also true, okay? So after you fail so many times at trying to do something, like dieting, like losing weight, okay, you start to have this belief that I'm not a strong person, or I don't have what it takes to lose weight. It's a limiting belief that you set for yourself and then I set for myself for years. So if I could go back and talk to Fat Jackson, I would absolutely 100% tell him, you've got to shift the way you see yourself. I say it all the time, guys. Don't let your past limit your future, okay? Everything that happened in the past happened for you, not to you. Are you serious, bro? You better walk in my shop, bro. No way, dude. He's got a camera too, it's okay. Those of you who don't know, I'm reading a book a week this year. That's one of my 2021 goals. The book that I'm reading this week is called The Miracle Morning. And this book covers everything about sh shifting your identity, just like Atomic Habits did. Atomic Habits made it so that it's not that I need to go to the gym because I need to lose weight. It's I, I go to the gym because I am a fit person, okay? It's not I should go to the gym. It's not I need to go to the gym. It's I go to the gym because that's what I do. Does that make sense? So. That's all coming from not having limiting beliefs saying that I can't do it, okay? Your identity is strong enough that you believe that you're capable. So in other words, the story you're telling yourself is the only thing that is holding you back or empowering you. What you think about you will determine your success. What's going on in here is usually what's going on out here, okay? So if I could have gone back and told Fat Jackson, and yes, I call him Fat Jackson because that was his identity, was being fat and he hated himself. And if I could go back and tell him, you need to shift how you see yourself, brother, like, please, I love you, man. But like, if I could tell him that, I would, because that is absolutely powerful to stop telling yourself the same story over and over and try something new and start to keep promises that you make to yourself so you can throw those limiting beliefs in the garbage. And we're walking again. So guys, the fourth thing that I would have told Fat Jackson if I could go back and just redo it is get back on it Monday is a trap, okay? This is absolutely, probably like one of the most important things that I can possibly tell you in any of my videos. How many people are familiar with, with the term, I'll get back on Monday? Okay, how, how many of us have said that? I've, I know I said it thousands. I'm talking thousands of times, okay? For multiple things in my life, but weight loss was always one of those things. Obviously, we know that usually it doesn't happen, but I need you to understand that what I did for four years is I actually believed for four years straight that I would get back on Monday. I never put two and two together that, wow, I've been saying that for three years, four years, and it, you know, I, I still believed that I would get back on it Monday. You see, what's dangerous about this is when you actually believe that you're gonna get back on Monday, that is how you justify Benji. It's because I genuinely, week after week, believed that I would get back on it Monday. I never questioned it. So since I knew that I would get back on it Monday, that would justify me ordering a Domino's pizza and eating the rest of my girlfriend's Chipotle in high school, okay? That would justify that because I'd say, well, I gotta indulge now because I'm not gonna be able to have it when I'm on my game, okay? So please hear me. Stop saying get back on it Monday and just build some new habits. See, there is nothing to get back on Monday. You've gotta understand this and if I could go back and tell Fat Jackson this, then I could have saved myself years of failure and pain. But like I said, it happened for me. Not to me, but for me. All right, guys, we made it to the number five thing that I wish I knew before I lost almost 100 pounds. And that is, it affects everything in your life. I want you to know that if I could go back and tell Fat Jackson what losing weight would do for him, I would have done it so much earlier because it allowed me to get in front of you guys. It allowed me to go from a 1.6 GPA to winning awards in my department. It enabled me to have more love in my heart and get more respect. Through keeping all those promises that I made to myself, I proved my worthiness of it. And I want you to know that you are worthy of it, but only if you believe that you are. Losing the weight allowed me to start liking myself enough where I wanted to make more music. I'm gonna start putting out more music for you guys here on the channel because everybody keeps asking me. I have a couple, Instagram things where I, I do song covers and music is like one of my major passions in my life. I play like six instruments and I've been singing my entire life. So I'm gonna start putting that more out to you guys more. And I started, one of the first things I did when I started, when I started losing the weight is I started doing more song covers on Instagram and I started like wanting to get on camera because I had a message that I wanted to share with you. And I wouldn't be here if I didn't lose the weight, okay? I wouldn't have gotten in front of you. So going off of one of my last videos, a lot more can change than just the size of your penis. But honestly, so remember that when you don't feel like doing 
your walk, when you, when you feel like binge eating, remember why you started. Because everything, I'm talking everything in your life, can change by you keeping these promises to yourself and losing the weight. All right, everybody, that is gonna do it for this video. So if you are new here, then do not be afraid to subscribe and definitely leave a like down below. It helps my channel a ton. If you're wondering where I am, this is like, I call it the dojo. It's pretty much like my home office. So I've got like all my music stuff in here and my amps and my pedal boards and stuff. And this is where the magic happens. Yeah. So I, I like to come in here and just kind of like, you know, jam a little bit or have anybody. I don't really have anybody to jam here with. So I usually just kind of, get in here and mess around with the looper and but let me know if you guys want to see more content like that because i am thinking about like i said putting more music stuff out on youtube and kind of getting that to you because i would like to and i think you might enjoy what i have so guys before i end the video i just want to say a massive huge thank you so much for 20,000 subscribers we're already like 20.6 so i know people a lot of the time wonder they're like oh you should have more subscribers i'm like i it doesn't really matter to me i'm here for you guys but um i'm definitely I'm definitely thrilled to be at 20,000 subscribers. It means so much and I value every single one of you. So before we move on, I just kind of wanted to say a massive, massive thank you to all of you out there who watch my stuff. But on that note, let's keep getting better together. And as always, keep on grinding. See you guys in the next one.